Welcome back to the channel everybody. I'm Trevor with Maker Experiment and in today's video I'm going to be creating a UV printed version of my single fold wallet that I did for the Epilogue Sample Club. Let's get into it. As I mentioned, this is a project that I did for the Epilogue Sample Club. I'm going to use the same exterior design and the stitch pattern, and I'm actually going to use the same shape of design for the pattern that's going to be on the wallet, but instead of laser engraving it, I'm going to UV print more of a galaxy type design for it. If you want more details on the pattern, where you can download it, the sample club and all of that, I'm going to put a link in the description below that will take you to their website where you can get all the information on what I used, the pattern itself to be able to make your own, uh, and all of those details. So this is just gonna be more of a fun project to UV print onto leather and just make a different version of it that I think will be pretty cool. For this version, I'm going to be using the blue vegetable tan leather to make the wallet. First, I'm going to laser cut out the design then I will put it onto the printer and print the actual graphic onto it. And then we'll go ahead and sew it up. I'm not gonna show any of the computer stuff this time, so let's just get into laser cutting the wallet and then the printing. Before we finish up the wallet, I'd like to mention that I do have a laser membership that is focused on helping teach other people how to create laser projects, how to design, how to get the most out of their laser and run a profitable laser business. I do have two lives coming up this month that are exclusive to the membership. The first one, I'm going to talk about the leather wallets. I'm going to be sharing the brushes that I use to make the stitch patterns. I'm going to walk through how I design a lot of that stuff and what I do for both the illustrator side and the laser side. And if you are interested in joining that, I'm going to leave a link in the description below to the membership at lasersmadesimple.com slash membership. There you can see the different membership tiers, what's involved in each one, and get more information about what it all is involved in that. But I wanted to mention that because I know a lot of you have been asking me how I do a lot of my design and I do share that within the membership. So again, if you'd like to see it, go to lasersmadesimple.com slash membership. And if you haven't seen it yet, I do have a free community at lasersmadesimple.com slash community where you can talk with other laser owners, network, and just get to know each other a little bit better. Now we can jump back into the project. Now I have the design printed onto the wallet. This is what it looks like. It's got the galaxy style print and it is kind of hard to see parts of it on the dark background right now, but you'll see it better when I start sewing this up. And now that that's done, we'll go ahead, we'll glue up the edges, put it together and start doing the threading and finish the wallet up. To glue this up, I am going to be using Eco Weld. So I'm just going to spread it just inside of the stitch line. I don't want to get it too far in or it won't work correctly.
Okay, once it's a little tacky, go ahead and fold the wallet over, making sure to line everything up. And just press everything together. Now I will say, I'm not really using the right ink for this. This is rigid ink. So it's probably gonna crack on the fold. But again, this is just a fun project that I wanted to try out. So I'm gonna go ahead and let that sit for a second just to make sure that it's all dried together. Next, I'm going to sew this up. I don't have a stitching pony yet. So I'm going to make do with my trusty woodworking clamps. And because this will go while I'm working, I'm going to clamp it to the table with this one. But for the record, I do have a stitching pony on order, just waiting for it to come in. Then I can take this, you can put it between two pieces of leather if you think that the jaws are gonna mar this up, but these are smooth and it shouldn't have any issues. I'm just going to position it so that I can reach all of these stitch holes and then tighten the clamp enough that it's snug. Don't over pressurize it. And now we will be ready to stitch this. For this one, I'm going to use blue thread to try to match the wallet. And I am going to be using two needles. For all the information on how I sewed it, you can check out the sample club for that. Now I'm just threading the needle. I need better eyesight because that is tough. Okay, so something like that. And you can check out how I thread the needle and everything again in the sample club because that's where I spilled it all out. And ta-da. Now I gotta do it on the other side. One thing I will say about threading stuff by hand, um, if you make your thread longer, you're definitely gonna have enough to do the project. On the downside of that, the longer you make it, the more likely it is to get caught on everything around you. And when I say everything, I mean everything. I've caught it on my desk now twice. It will catch around the clamp eventually and probably yank it out of my hand. Side two. Now we can start threading it. Already catching on the clamp. Okay, so I, I like to start at the bottom corner here and then I'm just going to feed that through and make my needles even. And start sewing. Now I'm at the end, I'm gonna back stitch a few stitches to help hold the thread in place and make sure it doesn't unravel on itself. There we go. Then I'm going to snip it pretty close on both sides. Then I'm just going to melt the edge of the thread. That way it doesn't unravel. And we have a nice threaded wallet. Once you're done sewing, you're going to take some of the leather finish and put it on the edge all the way around.
And then you're going to use the burnisher with these rings to just move that finish into the edges. The goal of using the burnisher is to make the edge look as smooth and as singular of an edge as possible to where you see minimal seams. So here's the final wallet. Again, I would recommend using the flexible inks if you're UV printing onto leather because it won't crack. I did not use the proper ink for this, but I still think it turned out pretty cool. But that's gonna do it for this project. I hope you enjoyed watching it. If you did, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so that you know when I come out with new videos. And if you're interested in the membership, again, that link is going to be in the description below. Be sure to check out the epilogue website where you can download the actual file to be able to create your own single fold wallet. And be sure to check out my Instagram at Maker Experiment where I share projects along the way. But I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video and I'll see you in the next one.